everybody today i'm gonna do a review of this foundation this is the gosh foundation drops i just got it yesterday from superdrug and it was about 10 pounds and i figured i would do a first impression to also tell you what i feel about it if it applies nicely if it has a good coverage if it wears nicely i will also check in at lunch with you and then at the end of the day to show you how it resisted during the day so this is how it looks, it has a dropper and this is in shade 002 and it also has SPF 10. It says it is hydrating and soothing and on the back it says it's buildable coverage, natural finish, lightweight feeling. And I think I'm going to use two applying techniques. I will use my beauty blender on one side and the foundation brush on the other side just to see how it applies better. This brush is from Blank Cosmetics. I think I got it from Birch Box a while ago. And as a bonus, I will also do first impressions of these little products from Makeup Forever. These are my first products from Makeup Forever and I'm really really excited to use them. I have here a face primer but I'm not going to use it just for the sake of the review for the foundation. But I have the HD powder which I'm going to use under my eyes. I have a Aqua XL eyeliner, a mascara and a lip gloss. Also from Gush I have this click and conceal pen or stylo. <laughs> uh, it is with a green shade that I'm going to use on my rosier red spots. I don't have so many but I just got it because I wanted something like this in my kit. So this is how the pen looks like and I'm hot. And I'll have to push this button in the back to make the product come out. It takes quite a few pushes to make a little bit of product come out. So I'll use it around my nose where I have a bit of redness and also on this spot here. I don't know what it is and I don't like it. And this is pretty green <laughs> as you can see. So I think it neutralized my red spots pretty well but it still has a bit of a green sheen but it's going to be covered by the foundation. So I'm gonna open my foundation, shake it really really well and start applying it. This is how it looks like out of the bottle and how should I do? I think I'll just drop. Okay, it is very very liquidy. I don't want it in my eyebrows and I'll use my beauty blender to blend it in really quickly oh and it feels it feels very oily <laughs> I really hope that my beauty blender doesn't soak up all of the foundation so my face is a little bit dry especially in this time of the year when it's colder so I don't mind having an oily foundation I actually like it because it feels moisturizing. I like the finish. I like the coverage. It is very, very natural. I would say it's low coverage to medium, low to medium coverage. Okay, let's try it out with the brush now. I will put on my brush a few drops. Oh, that's, I hope it doesn't soak it up. Okay, I'll put on the face a few drops, a few more drops. I don't really like the application with the brush, it looks a bit streaky and I like it a lot better with the beauty blender. So I'm gonna just blend this other side as well with the beauty blender because I don't want streaks on my face. Okay so I guess this is the foundation application and I'm just gonna put a few more drops under the eyes all up as concealer. I really don't think that this foundation would stay on my face without setting it with powder so I'm not even gonna try leaving it like this. I think it would just slide off my face. So I will use that HD powder from Makeup Forever to set it up. Okay, so this is my foundation. Very very dewy. <laughs> it's very natural. It doesn't feel sticky but it does feel wet 
it still feels wet I don't know how much time it would need to to really set but I like how it feels it doesn't feel dry at all which I like for my dry face and it looks it looks good in the mirror in the camera it looks pretty good I can still see my freckles and some of my darker spots but I don't mind that for a day-to-day -day foundation I think it is it's pretty good wow this powder is really really fine it's so soft oh my god it feels like silk on my face but you can see already how how nicely it sets all the foundation yeah I like it it really feels very very nice so now I will use my makeup forever aqua xl waterproof eyeliner this is black and and i'm just gonna try to do like a small wing on my eyes so this eyeliner is very very creamy until it sets but then when it sets you cannot move it around so you need to act pretty quickly to make it look how you want what i can say about this is that it gets really dry and it's pretty hard to work with so i think i'm gonna just keep using on my waterline from now on to make lines on my eye is pretty hard so I wouldn't bother with this okay now I'm gonna apply some mascara this is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash let's see if it's any good so these are my lashes with two coats of mascara <clears throat> I would say it is pretty volumizing and pretty lengthening I'm just gonna use a bit of blush just to give my cheeks a bit of color this is Rocketeur from um, Benefit and I'll also use a bit of my Mary Luminizer from the bottom. This is a very, very nice highlighter. Just on the top of my cheekbones. I'm going to do my brows really quickly with this kit from MAC. For the lips, I'll use the lip gloss that I got from the kit for Makeup Forever. This is, this is the Artist Plexi Gloss in number 400. It has a big dome foot applicator. It is very, very glossy. It's a bit sticky. And I really hope it won't go out of my natural lip line. I will come back at lunch to show you how my foundation looks. Right now it looks pretty good, very well set up with the powder. It doesn't look shiny at all, it looks pretty matte. So let's see how it wears during the day. I'll see you in a few hours. Hi guys, I'm back for lunch. And this is my face in natural light. Because in the morning I was using my ring light and it was a bit brighter. So I just wanted to show you my face, how it looks in my natural light. I have my window up there. I still have a bit of lip gloss on. I think it stained my lips just a little bit, but they still feel a bit sticky. I didn't eat too much, I just had some fruit so I didn't uh, ruin my <laughs> gloss. And the face looks pretty good from my opinion. I don't have any dry patches, only just a little bit around the nose, but very, very, very little bit. Yeah, my blush is still on, my highlighter. The face looks very, very good. The only thing that bugs me is that the eyeliner got smudged just a bit in my crease. If you can see, I now have a crease with this eyeliner, but should be pretty easy to take off. It's weird that I got it because this should be a very long lasting and waterproof eyeliner and I don't have oily lids or any eyeshadow or oils on my lids so anyway. But the foundation looks very very good. It is 12.31 right now. I'll check back with you at the end of the day. It is now 5.32, so another 5 hours later since the previous check-in and a total of 9 hours since I've put on this foundation. What are my final conclusions? Let us look at my face. It's still on my face, we can still see my blush and we can still see that I have a good-ish coverage because it wasn't extreme coverage from the beginning. This patch right here looks very very dry where we put also the green stuff around my nose it also looks just a tad bit dry so I'm guessing that this green concealer is a bit drying for my face but the rest of my face looks very hydrated and 
it doesn't look shiny i don't get very oily either i don't have a problem with um, oiliness so this foundation says that is buildable coverage i would say yes let's say you can get to a medium coverage but you would need like five layers to get a full coverage which i don't think anybody would like to put it has a natural finish yes it has a very natural finish you don't really see a thick layer of foundation you don't see marks the color is also pretty good for my face so yeah i would say it has a natural finish and it has a lightweight feeling yes it has a very very lightweight feeling you don't really feel like you're wearing anything on your face at the beginning as i showed you it felt a bit oily but it's because it is hydrating soothing foundation i would give this foundation a big thumbs up because it really does what it says i like the applicator and i like the fact that it's so hydrating for my face right now during the winter when i really need hydrating products because i feel my face is a bit dry so i really like this foundation i like the color i like the finish i like how it wears i like that it has a natural finish and for a day-to-day -day foundation for going to work or to school, I think it's very, very nice. Okay, now let's talk very, very shortly about the rest of my face, the rest of the products that we tested out together today. This green concealer also from Gosh, it is called Click and Conceal. I liked because it neutralized my red spots, but I don't like that it's so drying. I can see dry patches exactly where I put it. So I would use this with very much care. I don't think it's the kind of product that you can use on your cheeks if you have redness on your cheeks naturally I don't think uh, you should do that about the rest of the products from Makeup Forever I really love the powder I really now understand why it's so loved and so hyped amongst makeup artists I really like it and when I finish this I'll certainly buy a big one because I like it for, my, for setting my makeup the eyeliner I'm not at all in love with it as you can see it smudged just a bit on my eyelids in my crease which I don't like and it also smudged a bit right here underneath and in my corner and also very very little in this inner corner so for a waterproof long wearing eyeliner mm, I wouldn't like it and also it applies pretty hard the tip of the eyeliner dries out, so it's really hard to apply, you have to uh, sharpen it to be able to finish your eyeliner. The Excessive Lash Mascara from Makeup Forever is pretty nice, as you can see it didn't fall off my eyelashes. They're still pretty long and volumized, I like the effect that it gave my lashes, it is pretty good but I don't think I would invest 20 pounds if that's the full price for a full size product. I think you can get pretty much the same effect from mascaras from the drugstore. So it is okay, but it's not mind blowing. And the lip gloss, it was okay, but it only lasted until lunchtime and until I had something to eat. It is a nice gloss, it has a nice color, but it is a bit sticky and it's not super long wearing so to be honest I wouldn't pay 15-20 pounds on a lip gloss like this in full size because it's not really worth it in my opinion so yeah that's about it this was my review for this foundation and all the other products that I used today for the first time I really enjoyed some of them and some of them not so much as you saw before thank you very very much for watching please subscribe if you didn't do so already you can leave your requests for any reviews or tutorials that you'd like me to do in the comments below and until next time i hope you have wonderful days bye